हेलो हेलो ओके सो इज इट कॉल डिस्कनेक्टेड आई गेस ओके सो टेल मी सो सो आई हैव ए लैंग्वेज एल व्हिच इज रिकर्सिव दैट मींस व्हाट दैट मींस देयर एग्जिस्ट एट लीस्ट वन ट्यूरिंग मशीन व्हिच एक्सेप्ट द वर्ड्स ऑफ दिस लैंग्वेज एंड रिजेक्ट्स द रिमेनिंग वर्ड्स ओके बट इट डज नॉट मीन दैट all the turing machines that accept this language will reject the other strings i can say that sir sir can you please repeat so what i am saying is what do you what i am saying is first l is a recursive language okay that means uh, i have already told you that recursive language is a subset of recursively enumerable language okay so l is a recursive language and it can so that means what so it can be accepted by infinite list of turing machines okay out of them if one turing machine will either accept all the words and will reject the remaining words that does not belongs to l then i can say that l is recursive okay but this does not mean that the rest of the turing machines that accept the language l has to halt means if i have only one turing machine that always halts for the language l then i can say that l is recursive it does not guarantee me that the rest of the turing machines has to Uh, always means has always will always halt for the words of a language so it will either accept so it should either accept all the words of the language l or they may go into an infinite loop for other languages for other words of the language okay that does not belongs to that language any doubt sir this does it mean that the behavior of l changes from one turing machine to another behavior of l will not change behavior of machine will change so m0 suppose m0 will accept l okay yes, and will reject any words that does not belongs to l but yes. m but m1 may accept l but may go to an infinite loop for some words that does not belongs to l and may reject some words that belongs to l okay, okay. similarly m2 yes, similarly m2 may accept l but may go into infinite loop for all other words that does not belongs to l okay but still l is recursive yes, but still l is recursive because okay. because there exists a turing machine m0 that always holds okay understood yes sir. yes sir okay now now let me put another question so so my question is let l be a recursively enumerable language and m0 m1 mn p a list of turing machines that accepts this language then can i say that mi will always hold just just i am rephrasing the definition okay so if l is uh, so if l is a recursively enumerable language what does this mean this means that there exists a turing machine m that accepts the strings of this language l but 
but it does not tell me what it should do for a for the strings that does not belongs to L. So I cannot say that M will always halt. It may halt. Okay. I do not know. It may halt if the Turing machine rejects the rest of the strings. But if it enters into an infinite loop, then it does not halt. So I will say that M will always halt is a false proposition. Understood? So let me put another question. So, so let me write it in this way. So question is let M be a Turing machine. Okay? You just quickly answer. So is yes, sir. the language accepted by M recursively enumerable? True or false? Fast. It is true. Because by definition, recursively enumerable languages are those languages for which there exists a Turing machine M that accepts the language. So, so the language accepted by Turing machine represented as L bracket M is recursively enumerable. Okay. Second, is LM recursive? Tell me. Yes. yes. Don't know. Yes, sir. No, the answer is don't know. Yes, sir. We don't know whether whether it will be recursive or not. Okay, okay, because because either the mess because uh, the machine M accepts the language L, but we do not have uh, any knowledge what how the machine will behave for those words that does not belongs to L. So I cannot say that L M will be recursive. So the language accepted by M is recursive. I, I do not know. Okay. It may happen that I, I may construct another M1, Turing machine M1, which will always halt and which will accept this language L. Then I can say that LM will be recursive. Understood? Now, let me put another question. So let M be a Turing machine that always holds. Okay. Which means what? It never goes into an infinite loop. Okay. So tell me, is LM recursively enumerable? Yes, sir. Okay. Is LM recursive? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, okay, so now the third kind of machine, suppose. Let M be a Turing machine that loops forever on string X. Okay. Now, can I say that the language accepted by M is recursively enumerable? Tell me. Yes, sir. Okay. Can I say that the language accepted by the Turing machine is recursive? No, sir. Okay. Correct. Okay. So, so these are the uh, mainly 
the, so so this behavior of whether a Turing machine holds or not distinguishes the language accepted by the Turing machine. Okay. So in a Venn diagram, what we have, we have regular language. We have then another class of language called as CFG. Then we have recursive. And then we have recursively enumerable. Okay. So, so shall we stop here? Or Srikant is there? Yes, sir. So, Srikant, uh, we'll stop here today. And uh, okay. if they have any free time, uh, so 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 if you have any doubt, you first uh, post it. Uh, just email it to me, okay, and. Uh, on a given time, suitable time, we can discuss those questions related to any chapter. Understood? Sir, I, sir, I have a lot of doubts regarding the like acceptability of a non-deterministic finite automata. Acceptability of a non-deterministic finite automata. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So you that can... and then, uh, like... Yeah, tell me. Sir, uh, sir mainly machines also. Yeah. Like uh, there, there I have a doubt regarding the. So, like, so, 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 can you just uh, tell Srikant so that, uh, or you can directly mail it to me, so that I can prepare a once a good answer to it, and uh, I can get back to you. Okay. 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 okay then. Okay then. Let us stop this class for today. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah.